just to reiterate what it is that we're doing here because it's been it's been up on these jack stands for so long that uh, even regular viewers probably forget what the fuck I'm doing here these uh, shocks are all they're done totally dickered they don't have any juice to them so I bought a set of uh, good um, air shocks in order to raise the, uh, the rear end to get some more support but in uh, taking the the nut off to get the shock off I ended up twisting the uh, stud right the fuck off and part of the reason that happened is the uh, big breaker bar that I was using to get it off uh, wasn't a ratcheting type so it did it, it kind of put an angle on it and uh, it just it fucking twisted it right off on the other side that was not an issue came off right away so that leaves me with this piece of thing here I have cut it off with a uh, reciprocating saw cut the stud off but has left this slug in here ordinarily these are pressed in um, and then in phase two I was trying to maybe get this plate off but no freaking wrench I have is going to take these out. They've already been down that road. So that's when I started to say, well, I'll cut this off. And then uh, Tyler, from Tyler's Neighborhood Garage, was mentioning to me that if I can get this hole back, they sell ones that bolt in. They got a nut on the back rather than a press-in one. So that's what led us to this path here and what led me to need to get the hell that out. Once I get this flush, probably there will still be a slug in there, but... I can either use this hammer to hammer that through or drill it out. Uh, right now I can't drill it, there's too much material and it's on an angle and it's, it's just ain't gonna fucking work. Now obviously the quickest way to deal with this is an angle grinder and just get in there and cut that fucker flush or just grind that bastard down. But as I mentioned, it's dry as fuck here. The gas tank's right here. And I just, I'm a bit of a wimp when it comes to uh, fire and explosions I don't think anything would actually happen I, I would be more worried about catching this grass on fire than uh, blowing this up but, um, and if I can't make too much more you know, pr progress with the hammer here I might have to consider uh, going to that final plan which is just to get the angle grinder I haven't tried to bring my angle grinder here to know whether I can get into this tight spot that's always been a thing when I was trying to hacksaw this, you know, you can't get any kind of good angle on it. And uh, So anyway, that's kind of the, uh, that brings you up to date on what the fuck's going on here. This is the 1974 uh, Valiant. And it's been up on jack stands for, well, way too long. It's become a fixture. <laughs> but I do want to get those shocks replaced because it's, that was the original job, and uh, just so I can make this movable again, and we can park it somewhere and drive it. I haven't been driving either of my cars into town every day, it got way too expensive to park, and it was starting to uh, bankrupt me, so technically speaking, I actually, this was going to be the backup car to the red one, if, uh, if the red one ever went down, the 66, I was going to use this as the backup, but to, if I'm not driving in every day then uh, I might not need two Valiants and I'd sell this one and get something else or put that money into the Studebaker or whatever alright I'm losing air in this thing so I want to uh, at least give it a go I borrowed this from uh, workmate Brian and I'm hoping that we can uh, gnarl that fucking out and off this thing packs a fucking punch, I'll tell you. So I was hoping it's not going to rattle the motherfucker out of my uh, stands there, but anyway, let's give her a quick, quick go. It's kind of leaking a bit, and I put some new tape on it, but. Kind of the reason I'm using this is, uh, even though it just rained a few minutes ago, it's kind of bone dry and uh, I didn't want to be throwing sparks. And that's been the whole dilemma with trying to get this kind of off with the tools that I got. But there was also an air death wheel in that kit that I bought from uh, Brian, so 
Uh, that'll throw sparks, but it might also take quick work of that, and maybe I can hose this down or some bullshit. I'm kind of hoping this slug will just break under the pressure and not have to cut right through it necessarily, but I'm hoping it'll just, you know, kind of bust open. I'm going to try this one other tip here that I haven't tried yet. That's one of the ones that got the work started, and I might go back to that one and see what happens. This one that just has a little notch, but it's not nearly as sharp, like it's more of a wedge than a... I did sharpen up the flat one before I uh, brought it out. Still got a little bit of edge to it. But. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's whittling away at it, there's no doubt. Anyway, the rain's come back. I'm going to have to uh, take a break. Talk soon. Bye.